As I was scrolling on Instagram Reels the other day, I thought to myself, How does Google order its web pages? I thought about this question for weeks and weeks. I, I, I couldn't sleep because of it. So, in the end, I decided to go to a trusty friend for help. Aha, pay drink. And that's where it all began. So how this is gonna work, y'all. Evan, every time you're called upon, you're gonna either say Grady's name or Adrian's name. Try to make it 50-50. 50% right? okay. right. chance of each. Grady, every time you're called on, you're gonna say either Josh's name, Adrian's name, or Evan's name. 33% chance of each. Just randomize it. Okay. Josh, every time you're called upon. called upon, you're gonna say Grady's or Adrian's name 50-50, right? And Adrian, every time you're called upon, you're gonna say Evan's name. Just Evan? Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess so, so, I'm gonna randomize. Grady, start. Evan. <laughs> Grady. Evan. Grady. What the pay drink algorithm does is it tries to simulate a random web surfer, mindlessly clicking from web page to web page, clicking links at random. Evan. Grady, Evan, Adrian, and Josh are each web pages in this experiment, and the people they call upon are links. Evan links to Grady and Adrian, for instance. What will end up happening is that the pages with the most links to them from other pages will be clicked the most. And as a consequence of that, the pages linked on those pages with lots of links to them will be clicked on more as well, creating a situation where links from more important websites have more influence. The pages with a higher number of clicks by this random web surfer then have a higher page rank, as they're deemed more reputable or important. The equivalent of this is that the people called on most by other people who are called on a lot will have a higher page rank value and, through this process, we can determine who of Evan, Grady, Josh, and Adrian are the most relevant or important. Five more seconds. Evan, Adrian, Evan, Grady, Josh, Grady. The question is, how do we deal with this idea mathematically? Imagine four web pages, A, B, C, and D. A links to B, C, and D, B links to A and C, C links to D, and D links to A and C. What we can do here is make this into a transition matrix, where the distribution of probability that adds up to 1 is evenly split among the pages to which a web page links. Our initial state vector can be 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and by multiplying the transition matrix that we've created by the state vector, we can get closer and closer to an equilibrium where we can determine the relative importance, or page rank, of the pages. I did this manually, but given that there are billions of web pages in existence, computers take care of this process for us. Mathematica even has a built-in page rank function. From this data, where I've gotten a pretty steady state, but not an exactly steady one, because multiplying matrices by vectors over and over again is tedious, we can see that our web surfer will land on page A around 23% of the time, page B around 7.6% of the time, page C 30.7% of the time, and page D 38.2% of the time. The order of the web pages in search results will thus be D, C, A, and then B, and ordering by the relevance of the pages through the page rank value. The system of A, B, C, and D actually perfectly corresponds to our little experiment from earlier, and you can compare the theoretical values with the experimental ones, which interestingly deviate due to a small sample size and human biases. But let's think about that experiment a little more. Dayton didn't get called on at all because the other four web pages, Grady, Evan, Adrian, and Josh, linked to each other. But what if Dayton is a really good web page? How do we solve this? To solve this problem, we introduced something called the damping factor, typically agreed upon as roughly 0.85 for the page rank algorithm. Every time a random surfer hops from link to link, they will now ha only have an 85% chance of continuing to click links. There's a 15% chance that the random surfer will jump to a different website. One common application of the page rank algorithm is that Twitter uses it to recommend accounts to follow. Furthermore, in neural nets, it can be used to determine relative firing rates of neurons. Now, there are issues with the page rank algorithm. For one, a lot of people tried to game the system by either buying links with a high page rank score or artificially linking websites to their pages, though Google has measures against this. Also, it automatically selects for older, more established pages since those are the most likely to have links from other pages to them. But though it has its flaws, PageRank has been a powerful tool that has helped Google order its search results and become the multi-trillion dollar company it is today. 